This summer, we're getting honest about summer blockbusters, past and present. This is Honest Trailers Blockbuster Summer. From Disney and the guy who shot Die Hard comes three action scenes stacked on top of each other under a trench coat pretending to be a movie. Speed. Somewhere in Los Angeles, there's a bomb on a bus, and if it slows down, it will explode. If it drops below 50, it blows up. Exactly. If we slow down, it'll blow. Yes. There's a city bus rigged to explode if it slows down. It's not that complicated. You gotta stay above 50. We know. You tell that wildcat behind the wheel not to slow down, though. It's called speed. We get it, okay? Moving on. We went over the rules. Meet LA cop Jack Traven. He's young, dumb, and full of gum. Jack and his partner may be the dumber halves of their comedy duos. Excellent! But now they explode with rage whenever they're outsmarted. Or just explode. They're up against Howard Payne, one of the great phone-based villains of the 90s. I got your attention now, didn't I, Jack? You've probably got no f***ing idea what I'm talking about. This is bullshit. Do you have any idea what I've done? You hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a fish. That was unpleasant. Don't let it happen again. Dennis Hopper thrills as the Joker without the makeup. In such a convincing madman performance, you won't even question why he holds the phone all weird. Sure, a bomb injured his left hand, but it made his right ear go deaf. <laughs> Next, you're gonna tell me cars don't fly. <laughs> Climb aboard a bus full of people who either just found out they're going to die, or that's just how everyone looks when they're on a bus. Then, rev your engines as Sandra Bullock goes from that girl in Demolition Man to America's Sweetheart. All thanks to Halle Berry for passing on the role. And Ellen DeGeneres, too? That would have been weird. Do you ever thank me for your career? I, I know you feel. <laughs> Sandy will shine as a woman who does her best to keep the bus above 50 while keeping the chemistry above zero with the human equivalent of a zen rock garden. I don't care what the speedometer says. There's no way the bus is doing more than 30 tops. And I am so much smarter than this movie, which isn't really saying much. I'm going to go home, have some sex. <laughs> Forget the romance. This film is all about the action. And you know things are going to go fast. But when things get in the way of going fast, oh my God! there was no bed, it was full of cats. Are you sure? The only solution is for those things to go faster. Speed up! But it's down the gas pedal. Floor it. What? Floor it. Huh? I'm going to speed it up. I could jump the track. This is really stupid, Jack. Is any of this possible? No. But also, shut up. This is speed, not gravity. Come on, come on. Okay, that's pretty dumb too. So ride along for a simple action blockbuster that just plain works, thanks to its likable stars. Snappy dialogue from an uncredited Joss Whedon. We're at the airport. Yeah, so? I already seen the airport. And a build and release of tension that's so masterful, even the victims on the bus are caught up in the fun. Yes! <laughs> Stop cheering. You're all gonna die. And even if you don't, you're still on a bus. That's better. Starring. John Quick, Dennis the Menace, Bird Bus. Sometimes I doubt your commitment to sparkle motion. Buses move pretty fast. If you stop and look around once in a while, you'll explode. 90s gizmos. 90s dancing? Is this really how anyone has danced? Like, ever? And whatever joke lets us play the Dumb and Dumber diarrhea clip. <laughs> Mr. Woe's Wild Ride. Interactive TV, Jack, wave of the future. Ha <laughs> ha huh? It's called YouTube, Mr. Hopper, and you're on it. 
To fit even more Game of Thrones into your eyeballs, click the box to watch our after show, Watching Thrones. Or if you need to get caught up before the game concludes, check out our Kremit of the complete series. I feel the need. The need for speed. Oh. I am inevitable. I am in Elvog's Bethabel.